The plan today is going to do a jump school at 10. He's gone out. I took him for a nice long graze this morning and now Megan's got him out for a graze again. So we'll do the jump school at 10. And then he'll probably go out for some more grazing and we'll watch the five star horses jog. Can we go out for more grazing? Yeah, then we'll go out for more grazing now. And then I'll hack him in the afternoon uh, and uh, He'll be eating more grass. <laughs> He'll be staring at him some more. Oh, and we have the writers meeting today uh, where we all get informed on uh, the event and what all of the do. things of what not to do and what we can do and all that good stuff. So mainly what not to do. Yeah, mainly Fun. what mainly what not to do. Yeah. Mainly the things that could get us eliminated, which we don't like. want to do. and today I'm doing a jump school. So for our jump school, we have to have a lot of time with the stewards and uh, in setting up our jumps, we have to make sure they are flagged the correct way and also in having certain jump cups. So if I have the oxers, I was jumping both ways, we have to have the jump cups that release uh, both ways. So uh, I just set up two lines here where I can practice uh, going forward and coming back so uh, leaving out some strides and then adding strides and then also doing a couple of angles and the uh, height isn't going to be very big uh, because Kaz is going to have a lot to do this week um, but again just working on he's feeling a little keen there so this thing gets a little shaky with his head um, but overall he's feeling pretty good and giving me some really good changes, which is nice. And again, just when we have kind of a big event uh, coming up during the week, um, just making sure I can keep my horse's mental mind fresh and uh, keeping him happy is uh, where I want to be. So here I'm working on a little bit of an angle line And he did that really well. And just having a couple of jumps in sequence here, keeping in a rhythm. And again, practicing with going forward and uh, steadying up, coming back. So I was pretty happy with that. And every now and then I'll give him a little bit of a break in between. And now in this line I'm going to add and do the five strides instead of four. And even though this is a pretty simple setup, I'm able to do uh, a couple of variations. So now I'm going to go on down in the four and he was able to do that quite easily. So again here I'm going to go across the diagonal and I'm going to go on a nice forge uh, five strides there and then I'm going to steady back and uh, do this next line in an add of five strides. So again working on having him like an accordion which is helpful because he can get he can get pretty strong uh, but I was pretty pleased with how he was with that and then just coming into kind of like the final bits where I'm sharpening him up here 
then do the pour. Gonna practice a little bit of a quicker rollback. Do the vertical to the hoxer. And then down the line. And then I'm planning on doing another right-handed roll back here. And then to another left-handed quick turn. And he does that really nicely. And now setting up on an angle line. And he holds the line great. So really, really pleased with him today. And uh, looks like we're going to be doing dressage on Friday morning at 8 o'clock. So that should be exciting. Like these are little. Very good. We wouldn't be where we are at this four star, five star event for it not for Jimmy Walker. Well, there she goes.